Hey everyone. I think most people are totally aware that I use Young Living oils, I use Young Living products, but I wanted to come online today as an artist rather than as therapeutically oiled. As I'm in my studio, I don't know if I move out of the way, you can see I've got the beginnings of a piece back here. I'm doing a marriage prayer for some Amish friends of ours. But anyway, so I was working in the studio here and I thought I needed to share this. There are so many ways we can use our household cleaner. Rod, right 150, 250. I've had a couple really rare situations that this product has come in amazing. If you know my health history, I have to be extremely careful with my chemicals I'm around. So as I'm sitting here working, I'm thinking nobody I bet really has any clue, but this Thieves Household Cleaner, I use in my art studio. What I do is we work with so much paint, we work with so many different art pieces of uh, product rather within the studio. So I try to keep everything I can cleaner. I take the household cleaner and I've got it in a spray bottle here. And this, by the way, I can clean my entire house with this and I still have half of it left. That is how I clean my brushes. So I use Thief's household cleaner to clean my brushes. I have a little bit of this into my water where I'm cleaning my brushes but I've made a foam from it. I have an old foaming hand soap dispenser. I've got Thieves Household Cleaner in it, and I tell you what, guys, it keeps my brushes super clean, and I don't have to worry about those chemicals. But I know many of you have come on and watched me talk, and I thought, maybe it's time I show you my art studio. Everybody has always seen me with oils. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, and you know what? I just thought I probably should have looked at what my studio looks like but hey as an artist this is it so this is me folks so i'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what my studio looks like here we go so over here is where you'll see me when i do my zoom classes that type of thing and don't you love unfinished piece of art uh, there's one. The one that's up on the top is one that is going to someday be an explore with paint class. So up here, I've got a lot of my reference books and <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say, it looks like I don't have enough brushes. What do y'all think? Huh? And then down over here, I've got, um, you know, lots of unfinished pieces. I've got finished pieces, I've got unfinished pieces. Lots of paint, lots of, I teach also, so there's instructions up there for the classes. And there's my, that's the paint that my grandchildren will paint with. I got, my grandchildren can do a really, really good job with art. Anyway, that kind of gives you a general idea of what my studio looks like but I wanted to share that this is an additional way that you can actually use the thieves household cleaner have a blessed day